Hello, and welcome back to BB Star. What do you love more, authentic or staged? And what do you think the channel Bald and Bankrupt offers? In today's video, we look at the biography, lifestyle, and net worth of Bald and Bankrupt. But first, please leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get started. This Englishman travels across different nations, capturing the experience of being in the heart of the nation. He meets locals, tastes local cuisine, and stays in inexpensive hotels while documenting his adventures. In his videos, he shows the world in India that is honest and real, where people still share their lunchboxes and tea with strangers, where trust is valued more than money, and where there's pulsating energy all around. His main goal is to stay away from high-end shopping malls, commercial complexes, and eateries that serve Western specialties and offer free Wi-Fi. So, who is bald and bankrupt, and what is his story? Well, he was born on July 1, 1974 in Brighton, England. His real name is Mr. Benjamin Rich, a guy that has a long history of travel. Following a one-month backpacking journey to India that began in March 1993, he ended up remaining for four years and operating a small hotel near Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport after being charmed by the culture of the country. And since then, a strong indication of his admiration for the post-Soviet states was slowly natured and established with time. During his adolescence, while he was in Moscow to see the Russian constitutional crisis of 1993, he stated that he first grew interested in the nation and became a citizen. During this period, he acquired a strong attachment to the country. Among the places he's visited across India are the Golden Temple in Amritsar, the Kor Bazaar in Delhi, the Ghats of Varanasa, a refugee colony, and the Ghats of Varanasa, where touts irritate him, and the river wins his heart. He's also visited a local saloon, where he submits himself to an indigenous ear cleaning experience. The British travel vlogger, Mr. Benjamin Rich, maintains a bald and bankrupt YouTube channel that has fascinating stories and experiences that you can't find anywhere else. Mr. Bald originally rose to prominence on YouTube in mid-2018 when he appeared on the vlogs of Harold Balder before creating a channel of his own. Mr. Bald's vlogs are well known for their lack of editing, absence of background music, and use of cliche montages and tiresome openers. When Mr. Bald uploads a vlog, it's customary for it to be amusing, with a variety of inside jokes that can be seen in his prior videos detailing his trips across India. Certain bald and bankrupt videos, notably those from Belarus dealing with the devastating ramifications of the Chernobyl disaster on Belarusian society, also have a deeper, more serious undertone to them. The popularity of Mr. Bald's YouTube channel began to grow around the end of 2018, both in terms of views and subscribers. This is is, in reality, one of the most popular new travel channels on YouTube, with an average of more than 5,000 new subscribers per day in October 2018 alone, making it one of the most popular new travel channels on the platform. With 330 subscribers and 38 million views from 145 videos as of March 2019, the channel has begun its journey to dominating the field. And as of 2021, the channel had more than 3.3 million subscribers and it garnered more than 425 million video views in total. Vacation vlogs, food and drink reviews, lodging reviews, touts and scammers, and political talks concerning Europe's demographic transitions are some of the video's themes covered on this channel. Mr. Bald also has experimented with ASMR-style recordings of himself, in addition to shave and massage films. Mr. Bald once carried out a social experiment in which he walked through Old Delhi with a necklace made up of numerous 10 rupee banknotes, enticing others to rob him. But to his surprise, nobody mugged him. In addition to his profession as an ardent traveler, travel blogger, and author on YouTube, many people are interested in learning more about Mr. Bald's personal life. And well, let's give you what we know. As a result of his former wife's Belarusian origin, Mr. Bald is proficient in Russian, which he attributes to his former former wife's family's knowledge of the language. In addition, he has a child who lives in the United Kingdom. In one of his Q&A videos, Bald revealed that he had previously operated a company in England. But his desire to travel and visit new places, on the other hand, meant that he was frequently away from home. And finally, Mr. Bald made the decision to transfer his business to a friend. However, Mr. Bald was forced to declare bankruptcy after his company went bankrupt, which gave rise to the name of his channel. Mr. Bald's restlessness soon took him to India, 
where he spent the next year. But as we had mentioned earlier, this was not his first time there, and in a video, Mr. Bald revealed that he resided in India for four years during the 1990s. And in the same video, he admits his great connection with Lord Shiva, a Hindu divinity, despite the fact that he's not spiritually inclined towards Hinduism himself. Actually, his most well-known phrase is Jaya Balaki, which transfers as praise be to Lord Shiva. Mr. Bald has made it known that he has a soft place for Russia and the countries that were part of the Soviet Union. In addition to their individual performances, he and Harald Balder have toured extensively across Eastern Europe as a duo. He particularly appreciates Russian cuisine and vodka. He's been considered a polyglot by fans due to his ability to converse in rudimentary Hindu. He's claimed that he wrote The Burning Edge under the pen name Arthur Chichester and that the book was published under their pseudonym as a result. Mr. Bald, like his traveling companion and friend, Harold Balder, has demonstrated a generous side. He initiated an attempt in December 2018 to raise donations for Hindu immigrants from Pakistan, who were then languishing in refugee camps outside of New Delhi, India, in order to assist them in their plight. The campaign was able to raise 3,500 pounds in a single night, which is very astounding. After returning to India, Mr. Bald gave the money to the refugees on his next tour. Mr. Bald appears to be rather particular about the manner in which he's spoken to. Harald has regularly referred to him as Bald, to which he has responded angrily by yelling out, It's Mr. Bald. But what he's most known for is documenting the lives of actual inhabitants, away from the tourist attractions and Starbucks coffees. In June of 2019, a piece on Rich and his YouTube channel was featured in the Daily Express newspaper. Rich's work has been featured in a number of national media publications, notably those based in towns and cities where he travels. When Rich traveled to India in January 2019, a newspaper based in New Delhi, The New Learn, published the trip, and also his visits to Hindu refugee camps in North Delhi, where they were stranded in Pakistan during the crisis, were warmly received by the residents. It seems like quite a trail of accomplishment if you ask me. Anyway, during his visit in May 2020, Bald visited Belarus and Serbia, two countries that were never placed under lockdown despite the COVID-19 outbreak. Mr. Bald viewed the pandemic as a great opportunity to continue his filmmaking, but he contracted the virus while traveling from Belarus to Serbia in the course of his work. His video from Belarus on May 21st prompted a month of silence, following which he uploaded a now-deleted video on July 10, 2020 titled My COVID-19 Nightmare, in which he revealed his hospitalization as a result of the virus. He took use of his misfortune to inform his audience about the dangers of the pandemic. But what about his net worth? Well, several reports suggest that his channel has an average of 180,000 views every day, which would indicate that he earns a substantial amount of money. A daily average of $1,600 is generated from the commercials in the videos for total annual revenue of $600,000 from the advertisements. But because the net worth of Bald and Bankrupt has not been made public, it's difficult to determine with confidence what he's worth. Even if the data for Bald and Bankrupt net worth that we mentioned has has been collected from reputable sources, it should be understood that it's simply a rough estimate. So, do you think it's all authentic or staged? And do you like what you hear about Bald and Bankrupt? Comment below. Let's engage. All right, if you made it this far, be sure to like and subscribe to our BB Star for more content like this. Goodbye and see you in the next video.